Um, yeah, the Museum of Moving Image uh, is, is historically a film museum heavily reliant. They don't actually have a collection of film, they have a collection of film paraphernalia. Um, so they heavily relied on the kind of Hollywood based um, American film genre. And, 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 um, they had asked us through competition to, to expand the museum and, um, um, and we sort of uh, worked together with them to expand the idea of what the museum is about, um, which is now including uh, media, new media, art, um, so it was sort of really everything having to do with the moving image. A little bit away from Hollywood, uh, more towards, towards um, um, video and art and so on. Uh, so that created several challenges in terms of you know the, the, the type of exhibition spaces and the, the theaters. We, you know we built um, two theaters and a kind of video gallery that um, is specifically geared towards video art and it's not meant and not suitable for film. And, um, um, you know, and, and to, to so we you know we, we aimed at creating a museum that is um, about the idea of film, more so about exhibiting objects. Um, so you know, it's a lot of projection, a lot of you know, a lot of, sort of moving images, so to speak. Um, and the the experience of the museum is sort of it's a very ephemeral space. It's very light. You know, typical museums with, with projections are kept dark, and we kind of try to do the opposite and, and create a feeling of a kind of uh, uh, it's, it's about light because light is the medium by which film is experienced um, and it's about digital light uh, so hence the, the you know we see the pattern of the facade it's based on a, on a wireframe grid basically in the interior of the of the theater itself um, and this recently actually somebody's written a very interesting article about about the museum uh, that it is sort of breaking the mold of Theaters trying to, in architecture, trying to make the theater disappear, and this that you know, this author described this as the first example where the architecture actually becomes a participatory element in in the experience of film. That the architecture is not trying to disappear and hide from the film, but it's part of it. Um, and uh, um, this is, I guess, in a way, this is a strong complement to what we're trying to do. The, the kind of presence of, of architecture um, uh, as an important contributor to the experience of, of the media. Yes, um, the Museum of Moving Image, actually, um, the way we got involved is because um, of our IBM project. It was, we, it was a competition. We were one of the um, f finalists um, in 2001, I think, was the competition. And, um, and the, the IBM project... Um, which is on the exhibition, it was sort of the first major competition dealing with new technologies and new media technologies in architecture. Um, it's a museum for, for new media art, um, and it's, it's actually called IBM Atelier, so it's a workshop for me in new media art. And, um, and our interest is, is you know, very strong in, in new media art, and it was for us an opportunity to really think about how, how new media, the whole experience of new media, digital and virtual environments, affects architecture and can be integrated into a, into a physical, real architecture. And, and the IBM project was sort of the first competition that we brought up that challenge, um, and we invented a lot of sort of uh, scenarios um, by which new technology and new media can be become an important part in architecture. And that eventually led to the Museum of the Moving Image uh, asking us to to, um, to you know, work with them, to participate in their competition. And, and, um, and of course, I mean, uh, you know, this sort of, um, well, when we started, it was like five or six years after IBM. Now it's sort of like 10 years later. Um, um, technology has changed, but at the same time, um, the ideas are, you know, the ideas are still fresh and still there, and I think still is viable. And actually, what's interesting, some of the ideas that seem completely outrageous back then seem quite normal today. You know, the, the, the impl implementation of some of those ideas um, um, are, are suddenly become reality. We're doing right now a, a um, the, the Paley Center for for Media in Manhattan. 
um, where some of these ideas actually will uh, be revisited and, and eventually implemented. And it's very exciting to, for us to see this kind of lineage of work that's developed over the last 10 years.